Uh, my name's Graham Rowe. I'm the programme leader for biology at the University of Derby. Um, I'm actually a senior lecturer in molecular ecology, so I teach some of the ecology, I teach some of the genetics, so it means I, I teach quite broadly on the biology and the zoology programmes, but I also teach, teach some of the genetics on the um, forensic programmes. I, I had a long childhood interest in sort of wildlife and conservation. After my A-levels, I was working at a college as a microbiology and sort of genetics technician and then I went on to do further study and research in that area that kind of combined the two together. So my specialism today is molecular ecology, so I've combined kind of both aspects. Well, we've, we've recently had a major revamp with our laboratory facilities and nearly all of the rooms are available for student use. So we now have a dedicated insectary for people that are studying um, some of the behavioural aspects of sort of insects and insect reproduction, sexual selection. Um, we have a student room which we're actually sat in here at the moment, which is used for uh, used by project students, both biology and sort of the geological kind of area. So a dedicated space there. We've got completely revamped laboratories, which obviously the students they have a lot of um, practical sessions, which is great for the students. Uh, lots of hands-on time. We have a lot of guest lecturers coming on to teach on on nearly all of the modules. Um, so it, it allows them to bring the realities of the workplace actually into the, into the teaching spaces. We have an increasing kind of focus on employability. Um, there are opportunities to do work placements. And currently I have undergraduate students working on independent studies projects where we're, we're sequencing our way around. So they're doing DNA sequencing of the mitochondrial genome and the Natchat toad. So at the moment we've sequenced about half of the Natchat toad's mitochondrial DNA. I mean the great thing about that from the students and, and from my perspective is that the students are getting to do some real hands-on research. It's genuine research but also it, the data that we collect I can actually use for my own personal research. So in that sense it's a it's a win-win situation. At the University of Derby, we have a lot of students from non-traditional backgrounds and we encourage sort of widening participation from lots of different groups. And I think some of my personal highlights have been seeing some of these students actually develop over the course of their undergraduate studies. So they may come in, um, one particular student I'm thinking of, you could see the joy as she clearly developed over the years, you know, and she actually left with what I, I would say projectile velocity and you could see that her self-confidence you know, there's so much sort of personal develop over that time and I get a real pleasure from seeing that from the students. The University of Derby is leaping up the league tables but what I always say to the prospective students at the University Open days is that it's not just about the high quality courses, it's about whether they'll be happy in the university environment and the broader city and I think I can say that the university has a real buzz about it and I think anyone that actually attends an open day really kind of picks up that buzz.